All right, welcome to uh, module number 32, Decision Trees. This is going to be a, a change in topic. We've spent a few, uh, few modules discussing linear regression and then subset uh, selection relates to that. And ridge regression can be interpreted as perhaps a, a, a soft way of performing uh, subset selection. Not, not exactly. We're, we're kind of, we perhaps prefer zeros, but we don't force zeros. And now again, a change of topic. So decision trees are defined by Wikipedia as follows. It's a, a decision supports tool that uses a tree-like model of decisions and their possible consequences, including chance event outcomes, resource costs, and utility. It is one way to display an algorithm that only contains conditional control statements. So let's think about it. Um, this is here an example of a decision tree that you're deciding what to do. So you begin at the root of the tree where it's asking whether you have work to do. If you yes, you, you stay in. If you don't, then you look at the weather outlook. Is it sunny? Is it overcast? Is it rainy? Uh, if it's sunny, you go to the beach. If it's overcast, you go running. If it's rainy, you check on your friends. So the leaf nodes here are your decision, what you do. And uh, internal nodes are questions that you ask yourself leading to decisions leading to eventually the actions, the activities performed in the leaf nodes. So overall, there's a flowchart structure starting at the node. The branches are decisions. X, the leaves are actions. Y, from X, the input, to actions Y. The decisions trees can perform classification. For example, leaves can correspond to classes. They can also perform a crude form of regression. By regression, I mean you have inputs being examined numerical decisions at the leaves leading to uh, numerical or numerical decisions at the nodes leading to numerical values at the leaves so this would not be a regression along the type of uh, the type of style that we saw in the past but rather it would be based on a numerical input we're implementing some sort of function through a tree and finally, there can actually be functions at the leaves. So how do, we, how do we design a decision tree? One way to do so could be using MDL or the minimum description length principle. Um, and that requires to understand what's a good decision tree. So in an MDL approach, we want the leaves to explain the data well, and, they, and we can perfectly explain the training data with one leaf per data point. We can, meaning that's conceivable, possible. However, having a lot of structure uh, in the decision tree, meaning lots of leaves and lots of nodes, uh, is prone to overfitting. And therefore, uh, there's a trade-off between not having uh, too many nodes and the amount of error that's being performed by the decision tree. And this trade-off is what we optimize for. So that's it for this module, it was short, and we'll continue next time.